Hi, this is Amelia and Elizabeth from Twin Musics. We're with Frederick from Hammerfall. Thank you for having this interview with us today. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much. This is actually the first interview for this, so uh, I might be a bit rusty on my mic. <laughs> That's, That's okay. okay. So how have you been? <laughs> How's everything going for you? Uh, it's been good. I mean, not, nothing much that happens. Uh, we were supposed to do a lot of shows in, in this summer, like festivals and stuff, but uh, as you know, everything is postponed, so I hope everything will be back to normal next summer all the festivals that we should do but um yeah it's been uh, it's been a slow summer yeah we definitely hope festivals will be back next year we really miss them yeah we were so looking forward to to do all those shows we had this uh, big stage set with us on on the last european tour uh, and and then we were finally going out with it uh, on, on the festival season so it's a bit of shame but um uh, it is what it is. And what festival were you most looking forward to doing? Is there any that really stand out for you that you love? I, I always love to come back to, to Wacken, uh, Wacken Open Air. That's a big festival. Uh, it's always fun to do that because there's always a big production and everything around it. Um, but I like small festivals as well. It's, it gets more intimate and uh, you get close to the, to the people. Uh, so I, I like it both ways. Um, no, no festival in particular that I'm, I was looking forward to actually, but uh, it's a fun, fun thing uh, the festival season because you go out, be home with your family for, for like a week, and then you get out on the weekends and um, and just have fun. So that's that's the thing I always look forward to. That's awesome. <laughs> and you're bringing yeah. out your new live album. So what can fans expect from this? They can expect a really big show because this is the largest uh, stage set that we, we brought on uh, on tour actually. So we we went all in and, and did a real proper uh, stage set with a lots of pyro and uh, yeah a lot of energy. We all had a lot of fun on this tour. So uh, we didn't think that much about it was being filmed for uh, for the for the future, but. Uh, it was like a regular show, of course, a, a bit more uh, nervous that everything would work as, as it should. But um, other than that, it was a it's, it was a pretty normal show for Hammerfall, even though it was a, a big thing for us. And I what? mean, it's been I, I think it was eight years since the last live album, so it was it was time to show the people that this is how Hammerfall sounds today. And what made you want to do a live album after eight years? Well, there's a lot of albums uh, we released since last time, and um, this is actually the first time uh, when we do an, uh, a live album uh, in somewhere else than Sweden. So uh, on, on all the albums, we uh, Joachim always spoke Swedish, so this is the first time he actually speaks English. So it's, it's a proper way of uh, of presenting hammerfall for for the rest of the world to the people who didn't get this chance to see uh, this uh, this show um yeah, it's a lot of, of new songs and and a lot of um songs that we haven't played uh, for a long time or even uh, even at all actually and you just released your new video, Never Forgive, Never Forget, which was filmed in a, at an arena show in Germany. You, how have your fans responded? Yeah, I think it's been a great response. Um, everybody who heard this song uh, says it's a really good sound and uh, it's good quality of everything. Um, and this is just a teaser for, for the live album, of course. Um, so it's going to continue on, on that path. And uh, we are really proud to, to present Hammerfall in this way, actually. I've, I've heard good things all the way. And we can't wait to see your new live album as well. That would be really cool to see it in full. Yeah. Yeah.
We have a signature question. So I know you've covered um, songs like My Sharona. So if you could have any band perform one of your songs, which band would it be? Which song would it be? And would it be in your style or their style? Uh, wow. Uh, I always like uh, bands when they do covers that they do it their own way. So it kind of, kind of sounds like it's the band that does the song. Instead of just the same uh, song over again, so um, I'm not sure. I would love to hear one of my favorite bands. It would be like Mastodon. That's Do cool. something from us in their style. <laughs> that would be interesting. And would you re-release my Sharona as my Corona? Uh, <laughs> I've heard that before. I read it at least, but. Uh, Nah, it's not gonna happen. It was a fun thing. It, it, the My Sharona thing was actually uh, just just a riff from the beginning. They they did Oscar did uh, some riffing, some old metal riffs, and on on a tour uh, just to warm up the people. And uh, all of a sudden, he, he just played that riff, My Sharona, and the the audience went crazy they they loved it so we figured okay why not why not do a cover of it it, it would be fun <laughs> it's not a typical hammerfall song at all so no no but it's good that you took we, someone else's song and you did it in your own style it's a really cool song to listen to so yeah yeah <laughs> it's fun and what's your favorite memory of watching someone else perform live can you tell us a story uh, oh, I've seen so many bands that I, uh, I really liked going, we went to, um, we played at a festival with the Rock am Ring, I think, uh, in, in Germany, and I saw uh, Rage Against the Machine, uh, a band that I listened to when I was younger, uh, and there were so many people, and the whole audience went crazy it was a really good performance and and a really great moment to be at a festival and, and catch them live it was a fun great great way of hanging out before the show great warm-up for me that's awesome i love rage against the machine they're a really good band yeah 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 they really are I, it was a long time since i listened to it, but i i love yeah they had good melodies on, on uh, uh, like bass lines and stuff, and uh, and good aggression. And uh, I also loved Chris Cornell when when they made Audio Slave out of it. So yeah, good good members. And what's something crazy that's happened to you on tour? Can you tell us a story? Uh, something crazy that happened on tour. Uh, it happens crazy shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, any funny stories? Mm, well, I, I haven't got anything uh, right at the moment, actually. I, I, my mind goes blank. Uh, we, we had a great tour in, in, um, in Colombia uh, last year, I guess, um, where we had, Joe Kim had a friend who moved there, and he showed us around, um, like, he took us on hikes and, and stuff uh, in, in the Colombian forest and stuff so we we went to to places where they um, shot the uh, uh, Pablo Escobar movie uh, uh, or the Netflix uh, series that was that was really fun to, to see these places uh, live actually and uh, and there were some crazy stuff going on like people being actually murdered on the trails we went on so there there were like police is everywhere uh, fortunate for us because it was kind of scary otherwise that's crazy <laughs> that's insane yeah it yeah it is yeah wow i can't believe but you we went on the time. hikes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and um so your last album made it into charts in eight countries so how did that feel yeah it's always a some uncertainty when you release an album because 
of course we think it's a great album but you don't know how the audience will react and how they how they will uh, take it on uh, so it feels like it was a great um, um, great receipt that this is a good album um, I think we've done a lot of of things right this time uh, it's a solid album and and unfortunately we I mean the, the tour aspect of the album the tour cycle um, we we just missed the year of that since we can't we just did a European tour and uh, we were hoping to get so much more out of this out of this but um, hopefully we can do some some proper shows next year when this is over or at least they open up a bit so yeah, it feels great that uh, it's been well received. Yeah, and we definitely hope you're back on the road soon. I'm sure you miss it. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't know what what to do. I'm sitting here by my own and play at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you have Hector on a lot of your album covers. So what inspired this? Um. I think, I mean, Oscar always wanted uh, something that was really, uh, you, you're going to look at an album and, and tell it right away what is what kind of music it is, and uh, it should be recognized at once which band it is. Uh, so we had this idea, like, it's, it's like Eddie or all of the other mascots that, that bands have. Uh, it was really common in, in the 80s, I guess. So... Um, he wanted to have something like it, uh, like a red thread all all through the albums. And um, you also did a song called Second to None, and it's with no Nora, and it starts off with a duet and then goes into metal. So, what inspired that song? That was actually a collaboration with uh, Joachim and Oscar and James Michael. Uh, it's been, you know, James Michael, the producer and, and singer of 6 a.m. Yeah. Um, he has been recording vocals for us on the last three, four albums, and uh, he, he he also did the whole uh, Infected album. So Joachim and uh, they have a great relationship. He brings out the best of Joachim. So it's been continuing that way and he's a really good producer and a songwriter as well so they figured why not just go over and, and make a session out of it and see what comes out no expectation whatsoever if it results in nothing that's fine because we we can be there and have a good time uh, and they came back with the song um, James wrote the, the piano stuff and and Oscar had some melodies from before, and, and they they hit, really hit it off. So it was like a duet from the beginning. Um, and James sings on the on the original on the album. Um, and on this tour, we thought since we're touring with a great singer, Nora, uh, she, she has a great voice, and they figured we can boost this tour by by making it a duet between us, and and it became such a great uh, song so we we just had to do a, a video for it as well so uh, that wasn't planned from the beginning so that was nice and it was so nice to have uh, Nora on stage every evening she did a great job it's a really good song as well I really like it yeah it's a bit different but it's a power ballad uh, and, and really emotional and I like it too and last question, is there anything else you would like to say to your fans? Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't tour Australia that much, but uh, <laughs> I think we were in Australia 2015 last time. Uh, I sure hope it it's, will be pretty soon anyway. Uh, I can't promise anything. There's a lot of places we had to go to before, but... Um, we had a great time last time uh, with the audience and uh, I really hope we can come back real soon. 
And thank you very much for having this interview with us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much. My pleasure. All right. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.